how to use Trello management website. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Trello. So let's get into it. Now, Trello is a project management or management software that enables you to track your team's progress to be able to easily monitor your team. Not only can you just monitor your team, but you can also set different goals for your team. You can manage your entire business on a platform like Trello. So the best part about it is that it is available for free as well as paid versions and you also don't have to do any kind of coding and you can integrate top tools as well so you will be able to use this as a all-in-one platform for your business or project now to get started with trello all you have to do is click on get trello for free on the top right over here on trello.com and then you're just going to enter your email address or you can continue with your google microsoft or apple account so for simplicity i'm just going to continue with my google account over here now you can see my Trello account has been created and loaded up. I have previously created a few different workspaces, but I'm going to show you guys from scratch how to get started with Trello. So you're going to see on your top left, you have your Trello icon. Then on this bar over here, you have Atlassian, which is the basic founder of founding company of Trello, where you have other softwares available as well as Trello as well. Then you have your workspaces. So I have uh, two active workspaces. One is the Bose business. The other is the Pet Rescue. Below that, I have my recent section. I have start board. So you can start separate boards, which may, might be important to you. Then you have different templates that you can get started with to create your board. Now, if you click on home over here on the right, you will have your basic homepage where you can have all of your invites, your assigned tasks and all that basic information now other than that on your top right you have your account you have your account cards activity settings profile and visibility now to get started we're going to click on create on the top left over here and on the top left you can choose what you want to create if you want to create a board template or create a workspace so i'm going to show you guys how to create a workspace from scratch for a business or project so you're going to click on create workspace and let's say this is going to be a workspace for a burger company then after you have entered the workspace name you're going to choose what kind of workspace this is so let's say that it's going to be a small business. Then you can add your team description over here. So let's say our team description is going to be manage our entire manage the entire company. Now, after that, you can start adding members with their email address, or you can also click on invite with link to be able to invite people directly with a link. And I'm just going to skip this for now. And you can see this is the workspace that has been created. So this is my separate workspace where I can edit it as well. I will have different boards Then I will have a workspace table as well. Other than the workspace table, I also have members, settings and upgrade workspace. Now to get started with your workspace, what you're going to do is you're going to click and create a board because boards are the actual workspaces, like the actual spaces you will be working in are going to be your board. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on create new board over here, and then you can choose a board background. So let's say we want a simple solid color, the blue color, and then you're going to enter your board title, which might be finances. So let's say for the bar burger company, I want to create a board for finances. Now, after adding the board title, you're going to choose the workspace that you're looking to create your board. And obviously this is going to be in the burger company. Then you have your visibility. So you can choose to make certain boards visible only to you. So let's say only board members can edit and see this uh, workspace. You can also choose for all members that are present within the workspace to be able to see it. Maybe you don't want everyone in your company to be able to see your finances. Then you would make this a private board where only people that you add specifically to this board even if those people are present within the workspace, if they're not added to the board, they will not be able to see it. So this is one way to make sure that everything is private as well. This feature enables you to really simplify your entire workspace. Now, after that, I'm just going to make this a public workspace. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on create over here. And now you can see I've created a simple empty workspace. Now I can begin by adding different lists uh, into my board. So you can see this is a board. This is a simple board. And you also have table views and calendar views of the same board. You can get that as well. But I have a simple board. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin by adding lists. So let's say we have the list title as um, due bills. So you can see I've added a list called due bills. Then I can add another list called paid bills. And then I can add another list, maybe uh, overdue bill, and then payments. 
So, so on and so forth, you can create different lists or categorizations, and then you can begin entering cards. So cards are basically the things that you can move from one space to another. So let's say I have a gas bill. So I've added a gas bill card. And what I can do is if I click on this card over here, you can add more details in a card. Basically, you can also add your day to day tasks in cards. You can add any kind of tasks in the card section of Trello. And then in that, you can also add descriptions. You can add activities. Then you also have your members. So you can assign this to a specific member. Let's say if it is a task like washing the uh, like washing the floors or washing the dishes or something like that, you can add a specific member as well. Then you can also label it. So this could be a urgent label this could be like whatever label you might want so you can enter your own custom labels as well and select different colors for those labels as well and then you also have a after your labels you have a checklist so let's say if you have a long thing like a long task which might be to pay a very large bill that is supposed to be paid in sections so you can create a specific checklist that the person that is accomplishing this task can check out every time they uh, finish one part of the task so you have a better progress bar for the task that is happening below that you have your date section where you can mark a specific due date for this task so let's say we want to add this as the due date then you also have attachments over here so you can add any kind of attachment and cover as well and then you can also add power-ups to your cards as well and you also have buttons automations that you can run so let's say i've added the simple gas bill now whenever uh, when this bill is paid i can move it from the due bills into the paid bill section and maybe you know so on and so forth you can automate a lot of these different tasks that you have running in your daily routine for your company or project so this is how you can add like a simple finance board now if we take a look at this board we can also click on timeline over here and use the timeline version of Trello. So if we open this up over here, we open up the workspace table. Now you can see I have this in a table format. And if I click on calendar, I can have this same board in a calendar format where all, where all of these cards would be available in other formats as well. And then within your actual entire workspace, you can click on share just to add people to the board over here. Then you can see the visibility of your workspace. And then you can also click on power up. So you can click on add power ups over here and add different automation tasks or different things that would automate your entire workflow. You also have other things like your email marketing, your file storage platform, and other platforms that you can integrate directly into Trello as well, which will enable you to have a smoother experience running your business. Then you also have automation. So you can click on rules over here and add certain automations into Trello. Like maybe whenever a new task is created, you want to be notified or whenever something becomes overdue, you want to be notified. So for that, you can click on over here and create automations from here. So let's say we have due date automations. You can click on create command over here and you can add a trigger. So let's say on the day a card is due, then maybe I want to move the card to the top of the list, to the top of the due bills list. I want to be communicated via Slack. So you can add whatever kind of automation you want. Now, if we take a look at the pricing of Trello, the best part about it is that it's available for free where you can add up to 10 boards per workspace and unlimited cards per workspace. And you have unlimited power ups per board with unlimited files of storage of 10 megabytes per file and 250 workspace command runs per month with amazing stickers and backgrounds, activity logs, assignee and due dates and iOS and mobile apps as well. Then on the $5 per user per month standard version, you have unlimited boards, advanced checklist, custom fields and 250 megabytes per file unlimited file store of storage and 1000 workspace runs per command with single board guests and safe searches and then on the premium version starting at 10 usd per month you have dashboard views timeline views workspace table view calendar view and workspace calendar views map views so you have a lot more different views with the premium version and admin and security features with the workspace level templates and on the enterprise version for around 25 users that's the cost for around 25 users depending on the amount of users you have the price will be different it's going to be $17.50 per user per month where you have unlimited workspaces that you can create organization by permissions organization visible boards multi-board guest public board management free SSO and user provisioning with power of administration and attachment permission so that was it for today I hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video